In this video, we're going to be looking at working out the mean from a frequency table. Now, before we begin, I'm going to do a simple recap on working out the mean from some values. So here I've got four values here. Now, how do we work out the mean? It's this formula here. The mean is the sum of the values divided by n, which is how many values you have. Okay, so what's the sum? Let's go ahead and add these up. Now you can use a calculator, but these values are really easy to add up. And you should have got 20. And how many values have we got? Well, we've got four values here. Now we can go ahead and fill in the formula. So remember the formula was a sum divided by n. So it's 20 divided by four, which gives us five. So it's very easy to work out the mean. Now let's look at a frequency table. Okay, so what does this frequency table mean? So here we've got number of visits to the doctor in a year from a sample of people. They've either had zero, one, two, or three visits. Now, what does this frequency mean? So zero has a frequency of four. That means there's four lots of zeros. So if you had your values listed out, like in the first example, you'll just have zero and then another zero and another zero and another zero. And that will be followed by five lots of ones. So you'll have one, 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 and so on, five of them. And the same with the other ones. So you could just list them out and do it the same way we did the first example. But we don't want to do that. There's a much easier way to do it if it's in a frequency table. First thing, we need to make another column. Okay, so in this column, we're going to do F times X. The frequency times the values. So for example, the first one will be four times zero, which of course is zero. Then we're going to have five times one, which is five, and then three times two, which is six, and then two times three, which is also six. So we've worked out all the FXs. Next thing, we're going to add up the FXs. Now that gives us our sum. And if you add them up, you get 17. And you can use a calculator to do that. So the sum is 17. Now, how many values have we got? Well, that's the sum of the frequency column. So you add up the whole frequency column, and that gives you your n value. How many terms have you got? Or how many values have you got? And we have 14 values here. So our n is 14. Now we can fill in the formula. The mean is the sum divided by n. Remember the sum is the total of the fx column. And that will be over n, which is the total of the frequency column. So our mean is 17 over 14. And that gives us 1.21 to two decimal places. Now we're going to look at an example where there's intervals. So the first interval is 0 to 10. The next interval is 10 to 30 and so on. So how do we do these ones? Well, we're going to need to make two columns. In one column, you're just going to write out all the midpoints of those intervals because we don't want an interval like this. We don't want zero to 10. We just want a single value for X. So what we're going to do is take the midpoint of all of those intervals. So the midpoint of zero to 10, you should be able to say is five, for example. So our first column is going to be midpoints. If you're confused about how to get that midpoint, for example, the first one is five, well, you just add up the two values, zero plus 10, which is 10, and divided by two, which gives us five. That's how we work out the midpoints. Let's try it on the next one. So the next one is 30 plus 10, which is 40, divided by two, which is 20. So the midpoint is 20. Pause the video and have a go at the next two. Okay, so the next one is 30 plus 50, which is 80, divided by two, you get 40. And the last one is 50 plus 60, which is 110, divided by two, you get 55. Okay, so now we've got the midpoints, and these are going to be our x values. Because remember in the other example, we had a frequency column, and we had an x value column, the visits. So this is our x values column because we can't really do anything with those intervals. We prefer it like this. So the last column is going to be the FX column, just like the other example. 
and you're simply going to times the frequency by these midpoints, which is our x values. So the first one's going to be 2 times 5, which gives us 10. The next one's going to be 3 times 20, which gives us 60. And then 5 times 40, which gives us and finally, 2 times 55, which gives us 110. Now pause the video again and try to think, what did we do last time? Okay, so we summed up the fx column. We got the total of the fx column. And that gives you the sum, which of course is 380. Now remember, we need the n. How did we get the n, the number of values last time? And you should have said we total the frequency column. The total of the frequency column gives you how many values you've got. The n value. So our n is indeed 12. Now we can go on to fill in the formula. The formula for the mean is, remember, sum divided by n. The sum is 380 and our n is 12. So it's 380 divided by 12. And that gives us 31.7 to one decimal place. So it wasn't too bad. And there we have it. I hope you found that video useful. Support us by liking, subscribing, and share this with your friends. And if you still got some more questions on anything, drop a post on our forum at examqa.com where you'll find your questions answered.